Hey love, so it's April and her DHL bag, which is from Ally Express, and this is from Ula Hair Products. I was able to get like a loose wave. I really do like loose wave hair because you can wash it and go, and it can come out like this, and you don't really have to do much to it besides just wash it and go. I decided to get um, all 16 inch bundles of loose wave. I never do loose wave this short, but I had a particular style in mind. So this is their loose wave, double weft it. But I am noticing that the hair is really thick, um, not thin and shabby. As far as the ends, they're um, just particular, they're just regular, they're not dried out looking. Natural brown color, the bearding is decent, so it's not shabby looking, it's not all over the place or anything like that. Um, and like I said, it came from Ally Express, so like I stated um, in a prior video, I'm going to be doing a favorite vendors video on Ally Express. So depending on how this works out, if the hair quality is really good, then I will be putting this with the video. But I just wanted to do a couple more wigs before I made that video so that way you guys have a good decent amount of selection. The rest of them are all 16 inches and they're the same. They're both, they're all three thick and they're very pretty natural color. As for the closure being four sides, so it does have a pre-tweezed middle part in it. I've been getting a lot of pre-tweezed parts. You know, at first I really didn't like them, but now I've come to really actually like them. The knots look really good. I always put it up to the light so if I can see through it, which I can really see through this, then it's awesome. Um, and the hair is thick as well. So we shall see how this ends up being. I'm not really sure if I'm going to bleach it or highlight it. I'm not really sure. I don't know how many times I said I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I'll put like some red tones in it to give it a little bit of different color, which would be probably really fun. Those hair products, they are an Ally Express vendor and you can check them out. I will post their link below. And so let's continue on with the rest of this video. Okay, love, so I'm going to be using L'Oreal Techniques Chroma True Reds in, um, for dark hair. I did get this from Sally's Buy One Get One Free, so I only have two, and a Salon Care 40 Cream Developer. You can use basically any strength developer. It does say on the package 20, 30, or 40, so I decided to do 40 because I felt like it would just better process the hair. So I'm going to be using a measuring cup and along with that a bowl. Um, you want to make sure that your utensils are all plastic and this is actually not a measuring cup but it's an old baby bottle and it just gives me the exact measurements for this particular hair job or hair dye rather so you want to make sure that your substance is really creamy and mix it up really well so as you're seeing the actual color of the dye was a white creamy white color and it didn't really get red like I would ex have expected it to it's more or less like a lightish color mauve color or pink so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and paint the hair um, with my dye brush and I'm just going to do that section by section by section leaving the roots dark because I don't want to darken the roots. I want to keep them looking a little bit natural and natural as possible because of course our hair does not grow out red from the scalp. So doing this I'm going to go ahead and paint it on throughout the entire head and working my way all the way to the top. Now I do see that the hair is getting a little bit lighter. So this is the next day after I dyed it and as you can see there is nothing there. There's like a little hint of red in this, a hint. And so yeah, I decided to go and use the L'Oreal Excellence High Color and um, L'Oreal Highlights. This one right here is like the best. I've used this before and it actually works. As you see, the actual dye comes out like blood red and I'm gonna use the 30 cream developer this time in it. So I was really disappointed with the Chroma Color by L'Oreal because I really thought that it would work. It said it was for dark hair. And unfortunately, that hair came out like a tiny hint of red. It was barely anything there you'd have to be really close up on it as you can see on camera it was still like a dark brown so this is like bloody red just like I want it to be and I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on and basically do the same technique as I did prior and as you can see it's coming out really red and this I'm very happy with because I do like the L'Oreal um, highlights a lot better I've used this one prior and the way I used it before was the wig was actually not created yet I just went ahead and soaked all three bundles in a big huge bowl of the red dye because I wanted the entire extensions to be red. 
so this actual red works wonderful the only thing the only issue I have whenever I'm going to Sally's to pick it up I've went to several Sally's and they never have the magenta color but I do like this color and I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always stay tuned for the finish look I'm finally finished this and I will tell you that it was like the first time around for the dye job was like a huge epic fail I was not satisfied at all so as you guys seen I did use the new chroma true reds by L'Oreal techniques and this is for dark color hair this actually did not work at all for me I used two different reds which was chroma garnet and chroma cherry and the outcome of it as you seen on the video the hair was still dark there was like a little tiny bit of tint of red in it and that was actually all there was to it. And that was it. Um, so I wasn't really happy at all with this. So the next day I actually went out and got the uh, L'Oreal Techniques highlights which I did show in the video which is a lot better and it gave me this result. I used three bottles and I hope you guys can see it on camera in the sunlight and I have a permanent red nail from dye. Um, in the sunlight it's actually brighter than this so on camera it's appearing like a burgundy-ish purple color but in person it's actually like a red color like a deep red it's not like ratchet red but it's like a really deep red and it's a very pretty red I will tell you this guys I did not even realize that I actually did a video for this particular company like months and months and months ago um on my channel the hair came out really well it held up it did not tangle um a couple pieces of hair came out and that's probably just from me sewing it like a couple pieces of hair shut it but it did not dry out from the dye it actually did not dry it out and i just actually really really liked the color outcome i never really it was like a huge big red fan um only because i've seen different color reds on different people and it just was totally a turn off to me like I don't really like that bright red 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 color um, because it's just like fire engine red I really don't do reds like that um, but I do like like the deeper darker reds like in the wine color family or the burgundy family and the thing I like about it the most with any loose wavy you don't really have to style it you could just actually wear it like this and be done with it what's my preference versus curly to wavy which one do I like better I do prefer wavy over curly um, I do like curly a lot now because I was never like a huge fan of it only because it was high maintenance but now that I've known and learned how to take care of it and I have like certain products that it's easy for me to do curly hair so I do wear curly hair a lot but if I was to choose curly versus wavy I would always choose a like loose wavy I love loose wavy the whole three full bundles I actually um sold the track super duper close um because I wanted all the hair on there so I'm not really sure if I'm going to layer it because it's all 16 inches and the 14 inch closure so I don't really know if I want to layer it I was thinking about layering in it just to give it like some fullness so I may just layer a little bit of it just to give it a little fullness and if I do that um you know I'm more than likely I'll do it on camera um but for the most part the hair came out really really pretty check them um, out on all I express they have some really good hair this is the second time around for me doing their video um I think I've done like two other vendors like that um but they do have some really really good hair the last hair that I got I actually ombre it and highlighted it with box dye and it came out really really pretty so yes you guys check them out and all the information will be for pro will be provided for you guys below and as always let me know what you think stay diva and devolicious make sure you rate comment and subscribe and thumbs this video up and i'll see you guys on my next video